What is up guys, SB coming at you with another Open Emu tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to randomize any Pokemon game from Pokemon Red all the way to Pokemon Black 2 using Universal Pokemon Game Randomizer. So the first thing you have to do is head on over to this site right here, the link will be in the description. Go to the Downloads tab, and where it says get it by clicking here, you want to click on that download link. It's going to appear in your Downloads folder. I'm going to right click, Show in Finder, and then drag this on over to the desktop so I know exactly where it is. Once you've done that, head on over to your desktop. And what I recommend doing is already having the ROM set there on your desktop. And I'll show you why that's important in a sec. Double click on the UP Randomizer folder. And where it says randomizer.jar, you want to double click on that file. It's going to ask you because it's from the internet, is it okay to open? Yes, open. So this is the Pokemon Randomizer right here. And as you can see, everything is grayed out because we need some information from a ROM in order to change it. What you want to do is go to Open ROM, and that ROM that you have sitting on your desktop, you want to drag and drop right into this window. It's going to recognize it, and this is the one that we're going to use. I'm going to be using Fire Red as a base for this. So I'm going to go to Open, and here it is right here. All the information is correct. And what I recommend doing is actually hovering over each one of these tabs because it gives you a little description of each one and what they do. So if you're unsure about what something does, just hover on over it and it shows you exactly what it does. But the basics are, it changes the base stats of a Pokemon, the abilities. Starter Pokemon, you can have custom Pokemon, any three Pokemon you want at the start, you can have. It can randomize it completely, or give you a Pokemon with two evolutions in it, which is something I like to do. You can change the Pokemon types, the moveset, other trainers Pokemon, wild encounters, which is something I also like to do. Static Pokemon, TMs and HMs, move tutors, in-game trades, and field items. So what I just did was just do the basics. I'm going to change the starter Pokemon. I'm going to change the wild encounters, and that is fine with me. So once you've done everything that you want to do and customize the game to your liking, go on over to Randomize Save. And what I really recommend doing is calling it something that you're going to recognize because you're going to be able to find this thing later on. I'm just gonna call mine Fire Red Randomizer, something simple, save. It's gonna ask you if you want a log of everything that you've done. I don't really care about that. So we're done. You're gonna exit out, and it should be in the folder where the randomizer was on your desktop, and here it is right here. But I don't recommend having it right here. So what I do is I drag it to the desktop, and then go to go, hold option, and the library tab is gonna pop up. Hit library, go to application support, open emu, and then go to game library. And because this is a Game Boy Advance game, GBA, I'm going to click on that folder and make sure that if it's a DS game, you go to the DS folder, or if it's just a regular Game Boy game, you go to that folder. But since this is a GBA game, I'm going to go to the Game Boy Advance folder. What I'm gonna do is just drag this on over into this folder right here. And what I like to do is just, I keep it in here organized because I don't like it floating around on my computer somewhere. I like to know exactly where it is. So once it's in here, you can right click, open with open menu, or you could just double click it, it'll open it fine. But I like to do this just to make sure that I'm gonna open it within the open emu program. So once you've done that, it's gonna launch and it's gonna ask you if you want to actually play the game after importing yes why not okay so now that it's done importing I can just double click and actually launch the game so let's see if it works let's show our work over here so here's fire red version and a key factor to know if it worked or not is right here in the beginning that Pokemon should be a random Pokemon it shouldn't be the normal Nidoran that usually comes out so let's see. Okay, so that is not a Nidoran right there. So you know that you've done everything right. I'm going to quickly, quickly fast forward. Sure, my name's A. And just show you that everything has been randomized to the fullest. Okay, so we're in our room. I'm going to forget about the potion for now. <laughs> because we're going to go out. Oak's going to stop us. Let's go to the lab and let's make sure that the starters got randomized. Because if they didn't, then we have to go back and do something else, because we've obviously done something wrong. Okay, so inside are the Pokeballs. 
If they are randomized, then we've done everything right. Okay, so we can get a Pidgey. Awesome. <laughs> Who wouldn't want a Pidgey? It's not like you can get those early on in the game anyway. Alright, an Iggly buff. That's something new. And if you've noticed, all of these are two-stage evolutions. So that's something that we checked. And a Trap Inch. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. So now that we know that these are correct, I can assume that the Wild Encounters are correct as well. And if this works for you, please leave a like before you head out. Subscribe if you haven't. I'm Espy, and I'll see you next time.